Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by again. So today we'll be taking a look at these three coin sets from the Republic of Singapore. If you have missed the video on where I purchased these coin sets, I'll leave the link to the video in the cards at the end of this video. Now these three coin sets were released between 1986 to 1988. And what's interesting about them is that they are the first coin sets to feature the second series of Singapore circulating coins, also known as the floral series because of their flower designs, and also the only three sets to have this form of packaging. Now the boxes that you see in front of you are made of plastic, and I'll open them one at a time to show you what's inside. But before we do that, uh, if you like this content, please uh, hit the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get to it. Here's the first set that was issued in 1986, the Year of the Tiger. There were 120,000 of these sets produced. Markings are only at the front, with nothing behind. And this is what's inside. Now Singapore released the second series of the circulating coins in 1985, but there was only a silver proof set that was issued in that year. This was the first year that this uncirculated set was issued. Let me show you what's inside. Here are the coins. The denomination runs from one dollar to one cent. Packaging is a little bit tarnished. Well, what can you expect? The set is more than 35 years old. It appears to be made of PVC, which is not good. Oh well, here's a look at the certificate. And we'll go ahead to the second set. The second set was issued in 1987, the year of the rabbit. And again, 120,000 sets were produced. The color of the box has changed and so has the markings. It's still plain behind. And this is what's inside. Same deal, a coin and a certificate. And here's a look at the certificate. So we'll go now to the final set. So here's the final set. This set was released in 1988, the Year of the Dragon. Packaging is the same as the previous year. I don't have the vintage numbers and I couldn't find the information online. So if anybody out there knows, uh, I would appreciate it if you could leave the information itself in the comment section below. Here's a look at what's inside. The 
style of the certificate has changed. So I'll show that to you. It's a lot smaller. Sorry for the background noise. And here's to look at the coins. Now I wanted to show these sets to you because of a particular coin. Let me take the coins out to show you. Can you spot the difference? For those who spotted it, well done. This was actually the coin that I was referring to. Now this one dollar coin was only issued in 1986 and 1987 and only in these two sets. The mint replaced these two coins with a much smaller coin in 1988 and this coin was minted in aluminum bronze. The two previous coins were minted in copper nickel. Now I know it's difficult for you guys to see the coins from there, so I'm going to break out one of the coins and show it to you. Now this coin is 26.5 millimeter in diameter. It weighs 10 grams and it has a reeded edge. I think this coin is absolutely beautiful. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with that. Now this coin was not intended for circulation and you replaced the previous $1 Malayan coin which was redrawn in 1985. The circulating $1 coin that was issued in 1988 has exactly the same design as the 8687 coin. However, as I mentioned, it's a lot smaller at 22.4. It's minted in aluminum bronze and it weighs 6.3 grams. This coin has an incused edge. Now with the exception of this coin, these other two coins have been withdrawn from circulation. You can still find this coin being used, but this coin has been replaced by the current bimetallic coin, which was introduced in 2013. Well, that concludes my presentation for this coin. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, please don't forget to share and subscribe. As always, please take care, be safe, and have a nice day.